Hello. In this unit, we are going to talk about variable. What is a variable? A variable is an identifier that is used to represent some specified type of information within a designated portion of the program in its simplest form. A variable is an identifier that is used to represent a single data item, that is, a numerical quantity or a character constant. A given variable can be assigned different data items at various places within the program. However, the data type associated with the variable cannot change. Now, let us see an example. C program contains the following lines. Inter B C char D A equals 3, B equals 5, C equals A plus B, D equals A, A equals 4, B equals 2, C equals A, B, D equals W. The first two lines are type declarations, which state that A, B, and C are integer variables, and that D is a char type variable. Thus A, B and C will each represent an integer value and quantity, and D will represent a single character. These type declarations will apply throughout the program. The next four lines cause the following things to happen. The integer quantity 3 is assigned to A, 5 is assigned to B, and the quantity represented by the sum of plus B, that is 8, is assigned to C. The character is then assigned to D. In the third line, within this group, notice that the values of the variables A and B are accessed simply by writing the variables on the right-hand side of the equal sign. The last four lines redefine the values assigned to the variables as follows. The integer quantity 4 is assigned to A, replacing the earlier value of 3, and then 2 is assigned to B, replacing the earlier value of 5. Then the difference between A and B, that is 2, is assigned to C, replacing the earlier value of 8. Finally, the character W is assigned to D, replacing the earlier character A. Now, we will see the structure of a C program. Every C program consists of one or more modules called functions. One of the functions must be called main. The program will always begin by executing the main function, which may access other functions. Any other function definitions must be defined separately, either ahead of or after main. Each function must contain number 1, a function heading, which consists of the function name, followed by an optional list of arguments enclosed in parentheses. Number 2. A list of argument declarations, if arguments are included in the heading. And number 3. A compound statement, which comprises the remainder of the function. The arguments are symbols that represent information being passed between the function and other parts of the program. Arguments are also referred to as parameters. Each compound statement is enclosed within a pair of braces. The braces may contain one or more elementary statements, called expression statements, and other compound statements. Thus, compound statements may be nested one within another. Each expression statement must end with a semicolon. In this unit, we will discuss about comments. Comments, remarks, may appear anywhere within a program as long as they are placed within the delimiter's slash followed by a star and star followed by a slash. Example, slash asterisk this is a comment asterisk slash. Such comments are helpful in identifying the program's principal features or in explaining the underlying logic of various program features. There can also be the line comment, 
written as slash slash example slash slash this is a line comment. Next, we are going to see an example on program to calculate area of circle. Here is an elementary C program that reads in the radius of a circle, calculates its area, and then writes the calculated result. The comments at the end of each line have been added in order to emphasize the overall program organization. Here, we are going to view the same program without comments. This is the same program, that is, to calculate area of a circle, but this time, it is written without comments. Discussions on programming approach used. The following features should be pointed out in this last program. The program is typed in lowercase. Either upper or lowercase can be used, though it is customary to type ordinary instructions in lowercase. Most comments are also typed in lowercase, though comments are sometimes typed in uppercase for emphasis or to distinguish certain comments from the instructions. Uppercase and lowercase characters are not equivalent in C. Later, we will see some special situations that are characteristically typed in uppercase. The first line is a comment that identifies the purpose of the program. The second line contains a reference to a special file called studio H, which contains information that must be included in the program when it is compiled. The inclusion of this required information will be handled automatically by the compiler. The third line is a heading for the function main. The empty parentheses following the name of the function indicate that this function does not include any arguments. The remaining five lines of the program are indented and enclosed within a pair of braces. These five lines comprise the compound statement within main. The first indented line is a variable declaration. It establishes the symbolic names, radius and area, as floating point variables. The remaining four indented lines are expression statements. The second indented line, printf generates a request for information, namely a value for the radius. This value is entered into the computer via the third indented line, scanf. The fourth indented line is a particular type of expression statement called an assignment statement. This statement causes the area to be calculated from the given value of the radius. Within this statement, t the asterisks represent multiplication signs. The last indented line, printf, causes the calculated value for the area to be displayed. The numerical value will be preceded by a brief label. Notice that each expression statement within the compound statement ends with a semicolon. This is required of all expression statements. Finally, notice the liberal use of spacing and indentation, creating white space within the program. The blank lines separate different parts of the program into logically identifiable components, and the indentation indicates subordinate relationships among the various instructions. These features are not grammatically essential, but their presence is strongly encouraged as a matter of good programming practice. Execution of the program results in an interactive dialogue such as that shown below. The user's response is underlined for clarity. Radius equals 3 area equals 28.274309. Using define to calculate area of circle. 
In this section, we present several C programs that illustrate some commonly used features of the language. The reader should not attempt to understand the syntactic details of these examples, though experienced programmers will recognize features similar to those found in other programming languages. Beginners should focus their attention only on the overall program logic. Example, program to calculate area of circle. Here is a variation of the program given in the above example for calculating the area of a circle. This version utilizes a separate program a defined function called process to carry out the actual calculations, that is to process the data. Within this function, R is an argument, also called a parameter, that represents the value of the radius supplied to process from main, and a is the calculated result, that is returned to main. A reference to the function appears in main within the statement. Area equals process radius. The main function is preceded by a function declaration, which indicates that process accepts a floating point argument and returns a floating point value. The use of functions will be discussed in detail later. This program also contains a symbolic constant, PR, that represents the numerical value 3.14159. This is a form of shorthand that exists for the programmer's convenience. When the program is actually compiled, the symbolic constant will automatically be replaced by its equivalent numerical value. When this program is executed, it behaves in the same manner as the program shown earlier. Below is an example. Of a simple program, written in C the output of this program is, welcome to C.